Hi guys, it's Steve. I'm here to do the 4.0 reflection video. Uh, basically answer some questions from our fans. <laughs> the first one is, what did you learn about or share about your industry during your time in this course? <clears throat> All right, there's actually quite a few things we did. I'm just gonna highlight a couple of things. Uh, like, let's see, uh, social networking was a very big thing that we learned through this class. Um, he had some very good advice. Uh, Mr. Hendricks is always good on his advice. Um, definitely benefited me a lot through LinkedIn. So I, uh, I learned a lot through that. I haven't really messed with LinkedIn too much until he kind of referred me to it and I started going through it and I learned all the ways that I could kind of connect with my industry there and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, that was really big and nice for him to, to show me. And, uh, I learned a lot with the PDF and how to convert the files because he always wanted PDF for his uh, format. So that's good. I know how to do all that now. Um, another thing would be, uh, his plan of attack was different than the psychology of plays one. The psychology of play was basically a week kind of a plan and his was more of a monthly plan. The, uh, the plan of attack that he did was more, uh, about the schoolwork instead of like basically just a week of what you could do. So that's really, really helpful on, on what I do just for the simple fact that I know School can be hectic and it's really good to use and stuff like that. So um, the next thing that we learned was some terms, which was really good to learn because there's a lot of different terms that people use in our industry. And um, some of those would, uh, if you don't know them, is a really, really big help that he did. And we did a big old assignment on it and it was, you know, had to be a certain way. It was awesome. I really like how we learned how to do all the different stuff like making our own our assignments our own in our own style and way so that was really really big and I liked it also so um, I enjoyed all the live lectures that he did and he was really short sweet to the point so it was awesome and uh, I learned a lot of dad jokes too so <laughs> anyways moving on the next question is what did you learn about your own future in it during this whoa that's a weird kind of a typed out question what did you learn about your own future in it during this period of industry exploration hmm okay well I would say that I learned um, I know there are a lot of companies out there <clears throat> like uh, small ones freelancers and a lot of big ones like Sony and Microsoft and stuff like that uh, ever since I started I always wanted to do uh, Sony uh, I always loved PlayStation and stuff like that and um, through this course, it kind of like showed me the way to go to Sony and to connect with most of the people that are at Sony. I can connect with uh, mentors and uh, alumni that were actually graduated Full Sail University. And it's really, really nice to be able to connect with them and be able to see how they kind of broke their way into the industry. So it gives me, you know, a kind of a, a door to step through that I can kind of find my own path instead of just, you know, winging it and, oh, here, let me just try to find the, you know, the best way and the fastest way to get in the industry and then go from there. Instead, we get to actually research it and sit back, look at it and make sure that this is the path we want. Like, uh, like I know a lot of people probably want to do level design through, through this class. My future that I learned is I would love to do the combat design because that's what I grew up doing was a lot of boxing and MMA and stuff. So I, I really want to specialize in the combat and the fighting sequences and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, and, and through this research, I was able to look up so many different things about, you know, the senior combat designs and the level designs and the scriptings and all that kind of stuff. And it's really awesome. And actually, you know, that's, that's another thing is we learned through our, who our program director was and through him, he helped us learn exactly what kind of scripting languages that we were going to be using. And we actually found out that we we're going to be able to use the Unreal Engine 4, which is really awesome. And that is a big, big thing that a lot of like Sony and Microsoft people use for their games. I mean, pre pretty much everybody does. So, I mean, you know, that, that right there showed me that in the future, I'll be able to learn that. So that gives me a lot of hope and, and that I'll learn a lot of stuff. So I know that I'll be able to succeed in the future and everything like that. So, um, <clears throat> the next question is going forward, how will you apply the skills and concepts you've gained to your future success, both in your academic as well as professional career? Well, let's see. Um, huh. to apply the concepts and skills that I have learned, um, first off the industry terms, I've stored those in my mind, like debugging and stuff like that. Um, so I, I went ahead and just kept those. Those are, you know, I mean, 
I'll apply those skills to, you know, just talking in general. So that's really nice. Um, another thing is, is like I said, whenever I learned about the, uh, the social networking, that really gave me a lot of skills to look forward to and put towards my career because it's really, it really helps. It's kind of like what he says. It's, it's not only just what you know, it's kind of who you know also. So it's kind of, if you have both those things, you're kind of like a win-win success, you know what I mean? So I, I kind of think that if we're able to use that kind of, you know, you know, get references and get mentors and stuff like that, and then you'll be able to use all that in the future. I mean, it'll be so easy to, to do your stuff. And uh, I mean, he even, like I said, I touched on the research stuff. So he really helped us be able to research stuff easier by showing us what we would have to go through. He showed us some sites that we could look up. Um, all that kind of stuff. So that way it'd be really, really easy to find the information that you're looking for. So um, that right there is just going to be a big help towards the classes in my future. So that that's awesome. And I appreciate that so much. Um, we've done a lot of replies back and forth to each other, kind of like this video where we're talking back and forth to each other and we're going to give replies. So that's another big thing that's going to help me in the future is being able to talk to people a lot easier. I mean, I know it probably looks easy getting on the camera and talking and, and having fun with it. But really, to be honest with you, I mean, everybody probably scr struggles somewhere, you know, even with that word. See, I just struggled. But <laughs> but see, just like that kind of stuff, you know, like it, it will all help us. And I mean, that I mean, that right there will not only help me in just my academic career, but my professional career, the social networking that will help me in my academic career and in my professional career. That's that's the best part about it. So, I mean, just everything that he helped you with. And I mean, the plan, even down to the plan of attack, even if the plan of attack was specifically designed for this course at Full Sail and all the other courses that we take here at Full Sail, doesn't mean that you can't recreate that and use that into like, say your work schedule. Like, oh, hey, I have to get this game done. Uh, here's, the, here's the schedule that I have for a month. Let's go ahead and break the game down into different design, you know, periods that we have to do. Let's say uh, I'll, I'll work on the scenery and then I'll work on the level and then I'll work on this, I'll care characters, all that kind of stuff, you know. Hey, I need to talk to my graphics artist, you know, all that kind of things and it can be on that plan. So that's, that's really awesome. You can use that for not only your future classes but also, you know, other things. And then, of course, the PDF will always help us because we'll probably have to change uh, our assignments in different formats quite a few times with all the different teachers and also you never know what kind of format the bosses might want it in in your in, in the game industry they might want it in a mob file or they might want it in a, a mp4 you never know what they might want it in so that always helps out too being able to know how to switch back and forth between them so uh shout out yay thank you um the last question since i'm trying to wrap it up because we're going on like eight minutes uh it's uh if you could give the upcoming TEM classes, some advice. What words of wisdom would you offer those students to help them get the most they can from this experience? Guys, I have two things that you need to listen to on this. There's only two main things that I have learned. One, you're going to hear a lot of dad jokes. No, I'm just playing. Okay, one, read the freaking rubric. I mean, he says this all the time. All you have to do is read the rubric. You read the rubric, you'll get an A. It's that simple. I mean, I'm pretty sure all of us people that got here have a brain and can read. So read the rubric. Yay. Okay, um, <laughs> that one, I also have another one. Like I said, I have two things. The second one is this. This class, I know there's like so many people that were just like me. When we walked into this class, we thought this class was going to be extremely hard, probably because we all looked at it like, oh, technology and entertainment and the media, what the hell does that mean? You know, but we don't know what that, you know, you know, but we, we were walking into it kind of blind. But what I'm getting at is, is we all had that thought of, oh, no, it's bad. Don't get that way. I know you're kind of always nervous about starting a new class and, oh, this one's going to be so hard, just like how I'm thinking about how discrete mathematics is going to be pain in the butt. But when you get there, it's not that hard. Mr. Hendricks is awesome. He is one of the best teachers I have ever come across. He is great. He will, you just talk to him and you'll find out how great of a person he is and how great of a teacher he is. It's awesome. So like that right there should tell you that you have all the support you need in this class to, to succeed. So, I mean, you do not be afraid of anything. You've picked the right class. You've picked the right teacher. Congratulations. You don't have nothing to worry about. But like I said, just read that rubric and just just be confident. Confidence in yourself is a really, really big thing. So uh, just keep pushing and stay strong. 
and uh, that's even that that that's even to everybody that doesn't even not just this TEM class, but also where we're going in the future. To everybody that's watching this, you know, keep pushing forward, with guys. We've got this. I mean, this is this is our time, so let's do it. You know, congratulations everybody for going through all these weeks and making it to week four. And I know you guys are just as happy as I am to move on, even though we kind of wish we could stay here with Mr. Hendricks. But either way, we're still happy to move on. That's one more step closer to our degree and, and getting to where we want to be, right? So uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So uh, thank you guys. Stay classy, San Diego.